As Labour and Labour activists are already at the forefront of pushing to create a new green economy based on a 30 billion plan across the UK to create green jobs in the fight for preventing further climate change damage. Scottish Labour and Glasgow Labour must therefore be at the centre of that story and I believe that we are as we set ambitious targets for climate change. As part of this agenda taking it forward, the work of Claudia Beamish, Sarah Boyack, the Labour representatives and our own uh, Eva, Councillor Eva Murray in Glasgow, our activists in the party have made sure that Labour speaks with a strong voice on this issue. But we face a jobs emergency and we will see the biggest recession due to COVID-19 and not to mention a tsunami in child poverty that we have never seen. So a Green New Deal will be critical to making this policy and programme work in a socialist way. But make no mistake, it's our chance to build back greener and better recognising that the exploited of economic system that we've lived under and the prioritisation of profits over everything else has driven inequality in climate change, uh, a climate change crisis as our nation has been slow to act. So the climate change emergency is a fight for our planet and our future existence. So be in no doubt if we are to lead the campaign in a credible way, in my view, we must bring ordinary people with us. And to do that, we must make sure we do it and hand in hand with trade unions and workers, a just transition to well-paid unionised jobs. What is the point of an electric car if people can so simply not choose because they can't afford to pay for one? And those who live in high-rise flats cannot fit the proper charging points should they choose um, to travel that way. But unless we have an alternative public transport system and a commitment in Glasgow to projects like Crossrail and free transport for young people, then we won't give people the alternatives. People-led energy companies have been very successful and we should have more of those companies reducing energy use is a key to reducing carbon emissions. Citizens advice this week been running an energy saving campaign because those with prepayment meters, in fact, those who are on the fixed deals and who are the, those who struggle to pay their bills, many have already missed a payment. Single parents and BME people in Scotland are suffering disproportionate levels of fuel poverty and we must ensure our plan reduces energy use and energy costs for all homes. But we know that the polls show that people don't want to go back to normal when we begin to get out of this pandemic and that's something positive and young people are rightly impatient for change. Uh, it's not just about renewables as Annalise Stodd said very recently that carers for example as our population ages are vital and those labour intensive jobs are really important going forward and part of the picture. The SNP talk a good game, uh, the Saudi Arabia of renewables but we know that has been a national scandal that by far was allowed to wither and die on the vine. In our city, we will host the climate change conference, hopefully at the end of this week, the most significant uh, conference since the Paris Agreement and, ja and Glasgow has been chosen as the venue, not just because of our quality in conference holding, but we are a city that can rise to the many challenges that are laid down. The agenda on green jobs is wide, and there's so many issues in the green jobs for further discussion. A national investment bank that can affect change by funding green projects. And as already said by James Kelly, zero carbon homes has to be at the centre of our house building programme. I think that whatever happens in this ballot, it's crucial that the Green New Deal is at the centre of Labour's manifesto going forward.